Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel for a new figure preview. Today I'm talking about the new 501st Clone Trooper. This is not a repack or repaint from the Clone Wars figure, but rather a new sculpt based on their appearance in the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. I don't see the point of this figure, I would have preferred another clone with the usual sculpt, we are still waiting for 212th Attack Battalion Trooper. That would have been great. Nevertheless, let's take a look at this updated armor. Right away you can notice the differences. This is a brand new chest piece, it is thicker than the previous version. The two lines in front are straight instead of going in opposite direction. The piece between the legs is also different, it is thinner but longer. The armor pieces on the ends are more round and not glued at the same place. The forearm armors are no longer curved and have a different head. Finally, the feet are different, there is a piece of armor on top of them. As you can tell, looking at the pictures, the colors are not the same either. It is a brighter white and blue, plus the blue has a slight reflective effect. Although for me the previous sculpt is better, this one is accurate to how they look in the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. In terms of accessories, the trooper comes with the usual Star Wars interior base, different hands, a formal detonator and updated clone weapons, a DC-15 blaster rifle and a DC-15 Hess blaster. These are new sculpts too that match how these weapons look in the series. As for the price, it is on pre-order at Sideshow Collectibles for $230. It is $10 more than the previous 501st Clone Trooper and with less accessories. Honestly, this is a pass for me, I still don't understand why this figure was made. Like I said, I would have preferred another clone figure, or even another figure from the Obi-Wan Kenobi series, like an Inquisitor. Thanks again for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, bye!